Hello to all you all-stars out there sticking out this challenge for the entire week. You guys can proudly say that you work out on a daily basis and I'm super happy and proud of everyone who's jumped on board joining me for these 45 days. Y'all are making games. Perfect day to wear this shirt, right? All right, we're gonna try and mimic some compound movements today. If you're a member at one of our studios, you'll know that Sundays are made for heavy compound lifting. And my name is Mason, I'll be doing the work alongside with you, and if you've enjoyed the challenge so far, help me out by smashing that like button. And if you wanna follow the entire journey, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when the next video gets posted. Today's session is Renegade. <laughs> No. This workout is designed for a mixture of pushing and pulling movements while attacking your core as an active form of recovery. It's got 18 exercises split over six pods. Essentially, you'll be doing three exercises of 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest, one set per exercise, and then we're gonna double that up per pod before moving on into the next three exercises. Just a heads up guys, today's pods have been lined up so that you'll be doing a little bit of resistance and a little bit of core work. The ratio is two to one. So resistance, resistance, core. All right, let's get this party started. Starting with a warm up. let's go. Hey guys, 15 seconds, we're gonna get started on our warm up. Make sure you have a towel, some water, or BCAAs, whatever it is. You want to hydrate throughout the workout. Starting things off with high knees and butt kicks. Here we go. Nice hip mobility swings. Big round circles with the hips. Coming into a nice deep squat, twisting from one side to the other. Three, two, one. All right, nice lateral lunges here. Good. You can have your hands in the middle, shifting your weight from side to side. Drive your knees up nice and high towards your chest, shoulder right above the wrist. After 10, give me three push ups. All right, lying down, hands in a T, swinging one leg over, and then the other side. Good, hip thrusters. All right, back rolls reaching out. Excellent, coming back up, fast feet, some close, some wide. All right, jump squat, finishing things off. Shake things off, guys. 15 seconds, we're gonna get started. All right, first thing that we're doing, overhead squats. Hands placed beside your ears, coming down into our squats, ready? Step back, all right. We're do we've been doing this exercise a few times this week, so make sure that your hands, they're not pulling you forward, that you're sitting straight down into your squat, 
and then you're not overarching your lower back. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, rest. Nice long rest today, guys. 25 seconds, shake things off if you need to. Catch your breath, and we'll be back on. Moving on into the next exercise. Okay, remember, we're doing one, two, three, repeat, one, two, three, and then moving on to the next exercise. Next up, we're doing a lunge, jump, and then, and then coming back. So, you're gonna forwards lunge, jump, and then coming back. Stay on the same leg, it's gonna burn, that's what we want. As you land, guys, make sure the back heel is pointed upwards, okay? Just, it's a little bit easier to land that way rather than trying to lean, uh, land with your heel down on the back foot there. Lean into it, jump and land on your toe, okay? Front foot remains the same, good, and rest. Woo! 20 seconds. Third exercise in this pod. Okay, we're gonna do a four point hold on the knees, alternating the opposite limbs to raise them up, okay? So coming down into tabletop position, you're gonna raise opposite hand and opposite foot straight out, maintaining your back as straight as possible parallel to the floor, and as you lift your opposite limbs, try to brace your core so that you're not losing your balance, fight the hips so that they're not opening upwards, okay, you don't want to tilt up like that because you're going to lose your balance for sure, just like I was demoing there, alright, brace your core, three, two, one, and rest, excellent work guys. Now that you know the three exercises for this pod, we're gonna repeat that one more time. 35 seconds of work, 25 seconds of rest. Going back into our overhead squats. Five seconds, three, two, one, here we go. Excellent work, everyone. Hanging in there. You got about 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome. We're going to switch to the other foot now. We're doing that forward lunge, jump, and then reset. Okay? Make sure that front knee doesn't really cross the front toes. Back knee isn't slamming against the floor. Have soft landings on your jumps. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. that core going into tabletop position alternating opposite limbs coming out stretch them out all right really focus on your balance here guys we're starting in 10 here we go
You're doing great. Keep your core nice and tight all the way through. Raising your opposite arm and leg. Three, two, one, rest. That's it. First pod, done. Grab some water, wipe off your sweat, and we're good to go. All right, in 15 seconds, guys. Pod number two, another three exercises. The first, demo, the first one that we're doing are big flutter kicks. Just kicking our feet up and down, all right? Here we go, lying down, hands for support on the floor, and kicking. Chopping the foot up and down. That's it, nothing to it. You can tuck your chin into your chest like this if you'd like. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent work, guys. Woo! All right. Quick rest, 15 seconds, then we start our next exercise. Next one, we have got frog squats. Frog squats with a tempo of 401. So to properly do a frog squat, you're gonna tuck your elbows into the side of your knees. Drop your bum down, push your bum up all the way to the sky as high as you can, all whilst pushing your knees outwards, all right? So you're gonna feel a nice, big stretch on the outside uh, of your hammies. Keep pushing those knees out, okay? Don't rest your elbows like this. You really want to drive your, your elbows into the side of your knees and rest. Excellent work, everyone. Catch your breath here. Woo, 15 seconds. Third exercise. We're doing a side oblique crunches. So you're gonna just lie off to the side, have a slight bend in the knees if you'd like. Okay. Here we go. Drive the elbow towards the hip. exercises one more time. Okay. Staying on the ground, we're doing big flutter kicks. Flutter kicks. If you got a yoga mat, that's perfect. If not, just lie down like me. Here we go. Excellent work, everyone. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent. All right. Back into our frog squats. Tempo is 401. Four seconds down, one second up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Push. Two, good. Ten 
10 seconds left. And rest. Woo, shake that off. Legs are burning. Frog squats are hard, man. I'm telling you, they work everything. You feel a bit of a, a huge stretch, sorry, not a bit, a huge stretch in the hammies, and you're putting constant tension on the quads. Back to those oblique crunches, this time lying off to the other side. Again, ready? Here we go. Drive that elbow off laterally to the hips. Less than 10 seconds to go, guys. Couple more crunches here. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent work. All right. Back in 10 seconds, first exercise that we're doing is a standing W Superman. So you're gonna have your arms like this, creates a W shape, and you're just gonna close your elbows together and flare them up, okay? So come in into a slight bent position, open, close, good. You're only driving your elbows and forearms outwards, okay? You'll feel your shoulder blades collapsing in on you. What you don't wanna do is shrug your shoulders upwards, okay? We just wanna bring the arm out and then back. So if you feel tension in your neck or your traps, you're shrugging, try to avoid that. And rest. Catch your breath here, guys. Less than 15 seconds. The next exercise that we're doing is a Superman pull-up, lying on the floor. So what you're gonna do, lying down, three, two, one, lying down, hands and feet off the ground, pull your elbows backwards, reset, and down. Good, up, pull, down, About 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent work, everyone. All right. Next up, we're doing a plank. Lateral toe tap. So you're gonna hold yourself in a high plank position, tap your toe off to the right, bring it back into high plank, and then tap off to the side, other side. Good. As you plank, embrace your core. Make sure that your shoulders above your wrists line up. That way you're really engaging your core, okay? If you got your arms all the way back here, you're putting a lot of the weight just onto your hands and your shoulders core is not being activated properly. So line it up, tap it away. Good. And rest. Excellent, guys. Those are the three exercises for pod number three. We're gonna jump right back into things in less than 20 seconds. First up, the W. I'm gonna face this way. Essentially what happens is you have your arms here, and you're just going in and out. But you're just gonna lean over, same thing, in, out, all right? Here we go. Leaning over, in, out, good. Kind of like you're drawing a mini semicircle with your elbows, okay? Good. I'm just gonna turn around, 
for another angle here. You'll notice that my back is about 45 degrees, nice and straight, chest up, the hands will stop where the back is. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent work, guys. Lying back down, we're doing the lying uh, Superman pull-ups, okay? You got this, guys. All right, lying down, we're getting ready. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Hands and feet off the floor. Pull the elbows back. Reset. Good. seconds. One more crunch. Woo! Rest. Excellent work, guys. Catch your breath one more time here. Woo! All right. About 10 seconds. We're going to go into uh, dips, tricep dips. So we're going to go into a crab position here where you're going to bend your knees sitting on the ground. Okay, here we go. Lift your hips up and then as you come down, do not dip your hips, but rather bend your elbows backwards and then your hips will follow. 
And once your bum kind of touches the floor or taps, push back up. Okay? For those of you who want, who feel like the range of motion isn't quite enough for them, lift your hips higher, dipping down, and go. Good. The higher you lift your hips on that starting position, the more range of motion you'll get. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! You all feel that on the tries. Well done, everyone. All right, we are going back into our jump squats in about 15 seconds, making sure this time that if you were turning one way only, turn the other way, okay? If you're on your pivot foot, make sure you switch your pivot foot to the other leg, all right? Here we go. Try to go all the way through, coming down into a nice, relatively deep squat before you jump up. We got about 10 seconds left, hang in there. I know the quads are on fire. You got this. Three, two, one, and rest. Good thing we're only doing that twice. Woo. All right, lying down, going back into V sit ups. Getting ready, less than 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, here we go. Five seconds. One more. Woo! All right. Way to finish strong, guys. All right. Catch your breath. Go back into the, the tricep dips. All right. Three. Two, one, here we go. Pushing the elbows back and out. Good. Fifteen seconds, you got this guys. I know. Triceps are on fire now. You got this. Quick water break, 30 seconds here. Catch your breath, wipe off your sweat. We got two more pods left. We're gonna call it a day. All right, first exercise, we're doing a good morning with a tempo of four, zero, one. Here we go. Probably do a good morning, guys. Just gonna lean forward, chest parallel to the floor, hinge at the hips and back up, all right? You can have your hands in front, good. You can have your hands behind your head. What's important here is that you don't bend your knees too much. You're leaning forward, keeping your chest and your back straight. And then you're gonna feel a nice stretch of the hamstrings at that lowest point before you come back up. All right, three, two, one, rest. Good stuff. Catch your breath, shake things off. Ooh, I still feel that in my tries. Those dips, woo! All right, next exercise is single leg Romanian deadlift with a pause. Okay, so coming up, three, two, one. 
Load up on one leg. Let your arms just hang in front of you. It'll pull you forward. Kick your back foot up. Keep your chest up, your back straight. Pause. And then back to starting position. All right, here we go. Keep it on the same leg, guys. We're not changing legs until the next lap. Good. This is going to work on your ankle mobility and balance. A lot of stability going on here. All right. You're going to feel a bit of a stretch in the hamstrings as well as you go down and pause and rest. Good work, everyone. Next lap, we'll switch to the other side. Woo! All right, catch your breath. 15 seconds, and then we're going to go into the third exercise. This is a three-way crunch. We're just going to draw our knees towards our chest, and our hands are going to go forward. All right. Starting in the middle, here we go. Crunch. Whoop, lost my balance. Less than 10, three, two, one, rest. Excellent work, everyone. We're gonna repeat that cycle or that sequence one more time for a second lap. All right, in 10 seconds, going back to those good mornings. We're starting off in five, four, Three, two, one, here we go. Really hinge the hips, push them back, and come up. Here's a pro tip for you guys. Don't just lean forward, okay? Don't just lean forward, sorry. Don't just lean forward like this into it because when you get to the bottom, you'll notice the back here, it's rounded. We don't want that, okay? Wanna make sure that our entire back is nice and straight, so, Push the hips backwards as you lean forwards so that your entire back is straight. You gotta pull in the hamstrings and then come up. All right? Rest. Awesome work. We're going back into those single leg Romanian deadlifts. So switch legs, and that's gonna be grounded. Kicking the back foot up, chest leaning forward and then pause at the bottom. You ready? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent, guys. Excellent work. Working on that core once again, okay? Going back down, three-way crunch. Driving the knee up to the chest. We're getting ready. Five seconds to go. Let's get it. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Water break, guys. Catch your breath here. Wipe off your sweat once again. Last pod, 
three exercises. The first one we're doing is a push-up. It's called tricep push-ups. And let's go. Okay, so the only difference with this push-up is we're gonna tuck our elbows right into the side of our bodies, okay, and push up, rather than the regular flare of 45 degrees. Tuck right beside the body and up. Some people like to call these tricep push-ups. Some people like to call these military push-ups. This is definitely the harder variation of the regular push-up. Try to get down as low as you can, okay? For those of you who are struggling, you can do the push-up on your knees. That's absolutely no problem. Woo, quick rest. Moving on into the next exercise, or the second exercise, I should say. All right. Next up, we've got a downward dog knee touch. So coming into downward dog position, bite the ball up to the sky. Opposite hand, touch opposite knee. That's it, here we go. Touch in, try to drive those heels down. For those of you who have done this with me throughout the week, your challenge is to touch your opposite toe. Toe, good. Try not to swing your hips. Keep them square to the floor. Just under 10 seconds here. A couple more taps. And rest. Woo! You're gonna bear a lot of that weight onto your shoulder in your downward dog, okay? All right. Next up, we are doing a low plank diagonal or reach, okay? Not stretch, reach. So similar to what we were doing earlier, Coming down a little plank, here we go, 35 seconds of work. Opposite hand, opposite leg, reaching out. And as you stretch out, guys, make sure you brace your core. The tough part about holding your low plank here now, guys, is making sure that your shoulder is right above the elbow, okay? Try not to lean back into it like this. You can see, just bearing a lot of my weight onto my forearms. Brace that core. Lean forward, shoulder above the elbow, and rest. Woo! Those were the three exercises. This is the final pod. Three more times, and we're done. All right? Woo! All right. Take a deep breath in. In 10 seconds, we're starting that all over again with those military or tricep push ups, whatever you'd like to call them. Try to Get as many as you can, all right? Go. Twenty seconds to go. breath. 
All right, low plank, diagonal reach. Brace your core, shoulder above the elbow. Let's go. Fifteen seconds, guys. Hang in there. Three, two, one. Woo! Amazing work, guys. I am super, super proud of you guys for having done this entire week with me. And I'm super grateful for those of you We've been following my journey, keeping up with your own journey. That's all I have for you guys for today. Renegades, all right? Making sure that you keep yourself hydrated, continue on with your meal plans. I've got a special video coming up, uh, just talking about some of the struggles that I've had. I'm gonna, I'll be posting a video about uh, some alternatives that you can have if you're lazy like me, or you just don't have the time to meal prep or cook at home, or you could be completely like me, who doesn't know how to cook well um, and try to pick out foods on the go um, at some restaurants. So um, that video is gonna be coming up. I'm also gonna be talking about some alternative snacks that I have in between meals. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for following and just joining me with this 45 days. I'm super grateful to have you guys here. I will talk to you in the next video. Happy Sunday, peace.